Good morning, everyone. Uh, David speaking. It's 11 o'clock here on the 3rd uh, of April, uh, a couple of hours before the uh, U.S. non-farm payroll report. The report, as we've all read, is going to be awful. Uh, time will tell how much of that is discounted into the market and how much isn't. Yesterday was an up day, and as you can see, the advances increased over the declines. Uh, but uh, the short-term trend or the primary wave in Vector Vest is down. Uh, the underlying trend is down as it's been for six weeks now and uh, we've got a confirmed down in place. Uh, Vectivist does not advocate buying stocks at this time is darn good advice. So I've got some charts for us. So if we go uh, to the Vectivist composite itself uh, we can see uh, that uh, those are the medium term signals on Vectivist called the DEW signal which gave a sell signal on the 24th of February and that sell signal is still in place. Uh, as we'll see in a second, uh, some of the shorter term signals give a, uh, a buy signal uh, over a couple of days here which has now turned into a sell signal but uh, we can also see that the two measures of momentum uh, on Vector S, the MTI and the RT uh, in deeply oversold territory uh, the MTI has come up a little bit but still sitting not below 0.65 uh, at 0.5 which means it's mega oversold and the buy sell ratio is right down on its knees at 0.02 uh, and uh, noticeably uh, in this little rally that we've had over the last week or so that the uh, buy sell ratio hasn't uh, in fact moved at all. I'm hoping that the most positive thing I can say is that although the short term trend is down, if this uh, should move down uh, and both the RT and the MTI are moving up, uh, as I spoke about yesterday, that would be bullish normal divergence and that normally precedes a turn. So I am looking for a turn, ladies and gentlemen, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen today. It looks to me as if this market has got more uh, downside before we get that. Is it going to take out these lows or is it going to stop above the lows at 78% of that? Uh, I have uh, no idea, but uh, all I'm trying to do is to find a low uh, risk setup and I don't think we're that far away from that for the long. So let's have a look <coughs> at the S&P, maybe numbers you're more familiar with. This is the S&P over the last five years. It's a weekly chart and I'm drawing a Fibonacci a retracement from uh, the low to the high. And rather than using uh, the wicks, I've used the closing prices, which I find are more useful on long-term charts. And as you can see, the market found support at exactly 78% of that, a very important number. Whether you believe it's uh, self-fulfilling, i.e. everybody's watching the same number, or whether it's absolute, sent down by God himself, uh, uh, we could argue all day. But nevertheless, market markets, uh, in fact, react to that number over and over and over again, as I show people at my Monday afternoon uh, sessions. The market came off that to the tick. If we blow this up now to three months, uh, that's the S&P. As you can see, the low of the S&P off that 78% retracement right to the tick. And that's the little run-up that we've had over the last couple of days. If I put on the primary wave, we can see uh, this superb uh, Vector Vest signal on the 21st of February saying that this was over. And uh, this little rally and uh, a couple of days ago now it said that the short-term trend was uh, down. Now uh, we could also use a fib here to see where this is going to go and certainly if I were to draw a fib from that low to that high uh, I think that as long as we stay north of this 78% retracement uh, then I'm quite happy that we're in fact uh, uh, beating out a bottom here but I wouldn't be at all surprised to see it go a little bit lower uh, into the the bad news that's definitely probably on its definitely on its way this afternoon as I say the only ambiguity is how much of that bad news is discounted and how much isn't discounted so um, I think that we're close to a bottom here folks but uh, as I said yesterday as I said over the last couple of days there's probably a little bit more pain to go uh, if I now look at the futures market and what it's doing this morning uh, this is the uh, S&P 500, this is um, the futures market, so it's running live as we speak. Uh, I, I'm quite encouraged by 
uh, in that run up that I showed you in the previous chart, five waves in that, which is always good, and it's now pulling back. Uh, and the 78% retracement that I spoke about is somewhere down around here. I can uh, draw it in quickly uh, if I can find it. There we go. Uh, so not my software, so I'm not that familiar with it. So. Um, uh, there is the 78% retracement. So there's the uh, 618, there's the 78% retracement. Uh, this market, in fact, rallied overnight in this little rising wedge pattern, which technicians always refer to as a bearish pattern. I think there's going to be a huge amount of noise this afternoon. Uh, but I think, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that will probably come back a little bit. So those of uh, short-term traders uh, that are listening there's probably an opportunity on the short side uh, for uh, uh, that would be a big move of probably a hundred points or so but my word it's going to be noisy uh, around the announcement so I, I don't think it's for me uh, I'm looking um, over the next couple of days and I've got my eyes peeled for the next vector vest primary wave up and if I uh, go back to this chart uh, or sorry the uh, S&P chart if I go back to the S&P chart uh, uh, that the next vector vest primary wave up I think uh, will be a, a, an outstanding signal so it's probably I think going to pull back I would like it to stay north of this it could easily make a double bottom but I, I think that uh, the next vector vest primary wave buy signal in other words a green here uh, that could can quite easily uh, in fact uh, mark the bottom of this decline uh, as you know I feel that after this we're probably due for a, a long bounce uh, that bounce will last weeks, in my humble opinion, rather than days. And uh, that uh, bounce uh, could translate into a new bull market. Clearly, this has all been driven by this darn bug. Uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to assume that it is a bounce until it, in fact, uh, breaks up and breaks up. Uh, I would like it to see... Uh, from that high down to this low if I saw it in fact closing above a 78% retracement of this sell-off this big sell-off and closing up there for a couple of times then I think that I would assume that uh, it's no longer a bounce and we're now back in a V bay, a V bottomed recovery uh, until that happens then I shall be assuming ladies and gentlemen uh, that this is a bounce in a bear market but that bounce in a bear market in deeply oversold shares certainly in the UK uh, in the, the JD sports and the games workshops uh, of this world uh, that bounce can quite easily make my annual target so I'm getting very excited and I'm looking forward to the next vector vest primary wave buy signal I think that's going to be a good one as always I should be trading the market uh, not the forecast and I'll be largely doing uh, what uh, the front page of VectorVest uh, tells me to do. In these uh, particular videos uh, I speak about the US market because I think it is leading uh, and uh, I think that our market in the UK uh, will pretty much uh, do what it does a nanosecond later. So uh, we await the dawn of the uh, US jobs report this afternoon. It's going to be ghastly We'll see how much of that is in fact already discounted into the market. Uh, it's going to be noisy uh, and short term traders uh, with uh, a strong constitution I think will probably get a short uh, this afternoon. Uh, I hope this helps. Bye bye.